Hi, I'm Seth with Land the House. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate. In this video, I want to talk to you about a waterlogged pressure tank. That's when water slowly fills and takes away all the air inside of the pressure tank. In large commercial systems, there is a valve called a snifter valve. It's a little tiny hole valve down below the pressure tank. So with each cycle of the valve, the waste valve, a little bit of water is pushed out and a little gulp of air replenishes the air inside the pressure tank. This model obviously doesn't cost thousands of dollars and it has a bicycle tube in here to give that bladder of air. But over the course of a couple of months, water does slowly fill the entirety of the tank. So all you have is just that bicycle tube. Uh, it's not ideal. Still works, but it's not ideal. So, uh, my personal pump down here in the creek has been going now for six weeks, and it's starting to hit hard, as they say, which means that the water has slowly built up and filled that pressure tank over the past six weeks. So what I want to do is head up the hill and take a measurement of the water coming out, then we'll go drain the tank, and then we'll take another measurement to see if the uh, flow rate has been improved. So let's go check it out. We're up here at the storage tanks. There's a little bit of water right in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this valve and drain that. Okay, there we go. So the water you're seeing here is the water coming up from the ram pump. Just like uh, good old fashioned, non-scientific land house, I'm gonna use this tub with some tape on it. And I'm gonna time how long it takes to fill this tub to the bottom of this black tape. So, here we go. As you can see, that flow rate is not the best. All right, we're gonna call that at 35 seconds. Should be easy enough to remember. Let's go down to the pump and see what we can accomplish down there. Down here at the creek, to be honest, I've not been down here in over five weeks, so let's check out the pump. It's kind of sunken down here in the silt. So this is the pressure tank here that we're gonna be working with. But it uh, just goes up the hill here. And I've got it locked down pretty tight against this flume. Pretty good bit of flex going on there. It's a strong pressure wave. To purge the air out of the tank, I'm going to stop both valves, the drive pipe and the delivery pipe. The reason I'm stopping the delivery pipe is to keep water in the valve going uphill, so I don't have to reprime that pipe. Okay, and now back here, I'm going to stop the drive pipe. There's concrete blocks in the way can't quite stop it, but that should be good enough. Now I'm just gonna unscrew this thing. And there's a lot of pressure in here, so I'm gonna have to be kind of cautious. All right, you can see this thing is full of water here. And that's what we want to purge out. So you can either take the pressure tank off or you can open up this union to allow the uh, water to come out. Now to make this easier in the future, I'm gonna be installing this ball valve on a T and that will allow me just to open this up briefly, drain the water out and then close it instead of having to take this tank off to clean this out. So I'm just gonna screw this down here onto the existing fitting. That. Then I'm going to take my tank back on here. Screw that down nice and tight. Okay. 
now I should be good to go to reopen my drive pipe all the way. Good. Now, I'm going to reprime the pressure tank by opening and closing this valve several times. Okay, let's see if it's ready to open the delivery pipe. The pump should be good to go now. Pressure tank is reprimed and everything is going. So next time, in a few weeks, I can just open this valve, drain the pressure tank, and it will be good to go. Okay, let's go back up the hill and see what our flow rate is. Do remember that there are four sizes of ram pump for sale on Amazon or Land House. Link in the description. I can already tell the flow rate is much improved. You can see it here and hear it, but one thing I'd like to show is that it's quiet. Before it was making a noticeable popping sound. And it's quiet now, which means the pump is hitting less hard and it's supplying more water. So let's do the same test where we set up the camera and time the water. There's water in here again, so let me flush that out of here. Okay, so once again, going for this line right here. And go. All right, there we go. 15 seconds. It was a total of 20 seconds faster to reach this line on the second test. So that pretty well shows that if your pressure tank is waterlogged, there's not enough air volume in there to push back down on the water to pump it up as quickly. Notice it was still working and that's uh, going to continue about that same pace because of the bicycle inner tube. But you want more air in that tank than just that top bicycle tube. So something to think about. Also adding the T and the ball valve down there really helps with time. You just open that up and then close it. Good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel to have the thumbs up on the video. So I definitely appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be posting a ramp pump video now for the next several months every Wednesday, uh, Monday. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.